Hello everybody, if you got your own head in an island and all you find is a nice duck, <laughs> how are you gonna cook that? Duck on fit with Brussels sprouts and little, what are those Kristen? Those are little micro vegetables. They're so cute. Delicious. I'm Kristen, this is Fabio, and this is our dog Yoda. We're looking for adventure and freedom in harbors unknown, but for now, we're starting in our own backyard. We sold our dream home of 16 years that we remodeled with love and attention to every detail and moved on to our catamaran Wanderlust. We're a couple of dreamers with a longing to explore the world's natural wonders, food, and cultures. To live by the wind, current, and the sun. Click the subscribe button to come along for the ride. So here it is. We found this beautiful duck. Duck is not easy to cook. You, need, you can do duck confit with the thighs. You can do a nice duck breast. Um, you can use the inside of the duck to do liver pate, which is delicious. You can use the carcass of the duck to render some fat, to make a broth, to use the meat to make a ragu. And we're gonna do all these things over the course of a few videos, not tonight. Tonight we're just gonna do one thing. We're gonna do the duck confit with the legs. So first we need to learn how to butcher the duck. Inside usually comes with all the organs, the neck, the liver, the heart, the stomach. Let's see, you take all this stuff out. Then you look at this, the, the duck has a lot of fat. This fat needs to be all trimmed out. We're gonna trim it out and render it later to make the duck fat, which is essential to cook this bird. To butcher the duck, we'll start with the breast. We incise the breast right across the sternum. See, and we find this line. See, you wanna find the sternal bone and divide across along it. You can do some, uh, as we used to call in surgery, because you remember, I was a, I'm was a surgeon, but I don't practice surgery anymore, but you can do some blunt dissection to take the some of the meat of the sternal bone this way if you're not very good with the knife that helps a little bit see without without destroying the meat you can cut some here and you then with your finger you continue this way and then you can take a spoon and with the spoon you do this and the meat separates right from the sternal bone without leaving too much meat attached see you cut some of the attachment with the knife and then you continue this way the breast gets separated nice nice and then you can do the other side same way and here is your is your breast see it ends right there then the thigh starts right there, so. Then you can take a pair of scissors so you don't cut yourself. Then you go like this. Here's your breast. Okay, you can put it in there. So now we do the other side. Here's the other breast. Beautiful. Okay, so now you can see your carcass here, the, the wings and the thighs. Now the thighs, turn the bird over and you can feel Right where I where I was before the joints right here right so we got break the joints right then you cut the skin on top of the joints here 
and you see where the thigh here ends. See that? Yep. So you cut on top. Can you feel the the joint there, the bone? Your finger like this. Take scissors. And you cut. And then Nice thigh here, right there. Same on the other side. And here is your thigh. Boom. All right. So the rest here is all meat on the carcass, and we're gonna take we're gonna take this meat out. We're gonna use it to make our ragu. It's the wings. Now we're gonna take all this skin off here. This is gonna be rendered to make the the dark fat. Use the scissors here. There you go. So now the duck is butchered. Now we're gonna take the thighs. We're gonna look at them. This, you know, it's all extra fat here. We don't need it. So we're gonna trim some of the extra fat. So this is the two breasts. Now the, the next thing you want to do with the breast, you want to score it. Score the skin. Just a little bit. Ideally, without going into the meat. Yeah, it's quite a little too much. Okay. Just a little bit. This is because when you then fry skin down, the skin doesn't contract and, and lifts up the, the, the sides of the meat this way. It's kind of all separated. Okay, ready to go. Okay, now, and here we have all our pieces for the stock and the and the fat that we're gonna take out, and we're gonna make a nice dark fat reduction. The next thing we're gonna do is to put this in a tray with some salt and some whey overnight to rest and lose some moisture. Going to put the thighs and the breast here. A little, a little bit of salt and pepper on it to cure. 
overnight. And then tomorrow we're gonna wash it real well. And we're going to put some plastic on it. Then we're gonna put some whey on top of it. I have this lid that kind of fits in here. And we'll put some, some uh, cans to weight it down a little bit. So, and then it goes in the refrigerator. Uh oh. Which <laughs> <laughs> is the <laughs> tough part. Uh oh. There. Oh, there's room. And it fits. Nice. Nice. Just gonna stay there until tomorrow. So, how long do you have to keep it in the fridge? You know, 24 hours would be great. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Step one is done. Step one. Hi, this is the next day. Today, we're going to take the duck and put it in a sous vide bag. You can, duck confit is traditionally done inside a pot submerged in duck fat. So, you take the a small pot, you put all the thighs. Usually, the farmers do many, many ducks at the same time in winter time. When the before before the cold, they put all the the duck in a pot and boil them under fat, slow temperature, and then they left them in there, all covered and sealed by their own fat. And then slowly, they would take them out and eat them. They could probably last a few weeks that way. In our case, we're not going to use that technique. Because on the boat, you try to conserve the energy. On a boat, you can cook that sous vide. It's a technique that reproduces the same low temperature for a long period of time, but saves on energy because we can run our sous vide machine with solar panels. After 24 hours in the fridge, with some weight on top, you can see our, our dock rest. Looks nice and red. See, beautiful meat. And then here is our thigh. Nice, ready for the confit. We're gonna wash this real well, take the salt off. Here are the two thighs, and here are the two breasts. The breasts, we're gonna lightly sear and also sous vide. And then we're gonna store them. What's nice about this, after we sous vide them, we can freeze them. And then we want to eat them, we just take them out and give them a light little, little cook. The duck breasts, we're going to pre-sear them and put in a sous vide. In a separate bag, we're going to put the, the um, duck thighs. We're going to cook for a long time, about 36 hours at 155 degrees. These are going to cook, cook maybe one, one and a half hours. Let's now pre-sear the duck breast. Take it and put it in this. Okay, and while that sears, we're gonna prepare duck thighs. We're gonna prepare the thighs in a bag for sous vide. Here's a plastic bag. We're going to put a little garlic. It would be nice to add a couple of sprigs of thyme to this, uh, but I don't have it. So on the bowl it happens very often that you don't have all the ingredients that you would like. Well, in this case, what I'm missing is thyme. This goes inside the bag. Great. Then we put a little bit of pepper, and that's it. Now we can take the bag and seal and vacuum pack it. We use this machine and here is our bag with the ties inside which is nicely sealed. Meanwhile our two breasts are ready to be bagged. And 
and these also are going to be vacuum sealed. And here's our breast, all vacuum sealed. Now we're gonna use the carcass of the duck to make a duck ragu. I'm gonna prepare it now. I'm gonna use the same bath, the same sous vide, the same energy to cook all these things at the same time. So for this, I'm using this silicone bag, which is reusable, and I'm gonna use all this duck meat from the carcass, put it inside here. Also, they're gonna go inside the, um, the sous vide bath in the long, for a long time, so the, all the meat is gonna fall off the bone and make a nice broth. To this, I'm going to add the broth. To make the stock from that, uh, how do you call that, Kristen? Carcass. Carcass, not carcass. <laughs> to make this stock from the carcass, I'm gonna use one onion. If you have some carrots, some, we have some parsley. We do. Some parsley. You can add some par parsley. Okay, we're gonna add this onion quarter. And there, I'm gonna add some some broth. Okay. At the same time, we're gonna put the two breasts and the two thighs. Then we're gonna take the, the breast out because it takes only one and a half hour and let the thighs and the carcass. The carcass. The thighs and the carcass. Let, let, we're gonna <laughs> let the thighs and the rest of the duck chopped up in pieces with the bone, also known as the... <laughs> the carcass. <laughs> we're gonna let it cook over the course of 36 hours. We're gonna add some of this parsley to give some flavor in there and this is going to be our stock. The jewel is going to go outside because if it cooks inside the boat it kind of tends to steam it up and warm it up a little bit so I'm going to go out there. What's nice about the jewel is that you can choose your temperature on an app and it shows you how it's going to be inside so for this duck breast we're going to use 136 degrees. We're going to set timer for 130 minutes. Start jewel. So once the jewel is at temperature, we're going to add the duck breast. Let's see how much the jewel draws now that it's bringing the temperature out. So it's working a full steam. And you can see it's about a hundred and... How much is that? 108. 108 amps. But as soon as the jewel comes to temperature, that should drop down. Time has come. We can add our duck to the sous vide. 136 degrees. We're going to keep but we're gonna put both of them inside. Keep the, the breast for about one and a half hours and then take the breast out and leave the thighs and let it cook for 36 hours. The jewel looks like it's drawing about 25 to 30 amps. So if you had to run it all night, it probably put you discharge quite a bit of your batteries. And we're back. <laughs> it's been 36 hours for the sous vide to cook this duck thighs. They look perfectly confit. Although confit, the term confit means to preserve, so it's really not duck confit. Duck confit needs to be cooked under its own fat, inside a pot, and left in the fat to mature. In fact, uh, some people say that after a few weeks, maybe a month, the duck confit starts having that little funkiness that is so delicious. This one will not have that. But we're in a boat and we cook with what we have. We're gonna open the bag and see how it looks like. Here is the duck confit. You need to treat it with extreme care because the meat is really ready to fall off the bone. And you can see the skin is really nice and soft. And we're going to cook that, fry that in a pan skin down to make the skin really crispy and nice. We're gonna accompany our duck confit with some Brussels sprout. Here I have a mound of it, but we've done some of this, some of And we're also gonna cook this uh, in, in our sous vide machine for about 40 minutes at 185 degrees. And then we will finish them in the pan. Meantime, while we're doing this, I'm going to fry some of these onions with some duck fat to go with the Brussels sprout. This is the duck fat. Look how beautiful it is. 
super clear. It's an elegant, elegant fat. It's delicious. I'm gonna put this on the side for a second and bag this with some spices and some, some flavor. So we're gonna put some of these Brussels sprouts in this bag. A little bit of salt, pepper, and I like this pepper that is coarse, coarse, it's ground coarse. It's called like butcher, butcher pepper. It's not so fine, it smells fantastic. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna put a little bit of this duck fat, and now we're gonna seal it. And here it is, vacuum packed and ready to go in our sous vide machine. Nice. You see when you cook stuff in duck fat, it gets nicely brown. Now you don't want to burn onions, believe me. But this is not burned, this is caramelized. This is just fantastic. All right, let me talk about this thing here for a little bit. As you remember, we had the pieces with bones and meat, also known as, how's it called, Kristen? <laughs> the carcass. The carcass. The carcass <laughs> <Again>. was, <laughs> we put it inside the sous vide machine with the thighs, and we let it cook for 36 hours with some, some uh, spices and put like some parsley and onion. Then the meal, the meat, this is only the bones now, the meat fell apart and here is the meat. With this meat, we're gonna do a ragu. We're gonna do a duck ragu. What we're gonna use the duck ragu for, it's still to be decided, but you'll see it in one of the upcoming videos. Maybe we'll make tortellini with duck ragu or maybe we just make just a ragu for a pasta. Mm. I'm not sure yet. I love the tortellini. And this is the broth that came with it. Now I'm gonna let it set so that the water and goes on the bottom and the fat comes on the top and I can skim the fat off and we make some broth for the tortellini. I just wanna let you know. More to come. <laughs> to go with the duck thighs, we're gonna make a sauce using some cashews, using dates, some balsamic vinegar for acidity, and then we're gonna dilute it with some bourbon. Genius. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna put our cashew in a mortar, and we're gonna kind of break them up a little bit. Here's our ground cashews. Now we're gonna make our sauce. Balsamic vinegar. Cashews. We're cutting our dates and, and adding them. A little bit more about some vinegar. And now we have to just like work them in. If you don't have dates, you can use any other dry fruit or honey. If you don't have cashews, you can use any other nut really. It's nice to put some acidity, so balsamic vinegar has got a spe spe special taste, but you can probably use some other balsam, some other type of vinegar. At the end, we're gonna use some bourbon, and I'm pretty sure that all of you have some bourbon or rum or some sort of liquor on board. <laughs> that should not be a problem. So now the water with the sous vide is ready at 185 degrees. We're gonna put in our Brussels sprouts. We actually prepare them all. The nice thing about this, after I cook them, I can freeze them. And next time that I wanna use them, I just take them out and put them in a pan. Here are our Brussels sprouts out of the sous vide. We're going to open the bag. And we're gonna, they look perfectly cooked. Mm. Can't go wrong. We're gonna saute them in the pan, girl. Give them one last little saute. We're gonna do it without any liquid, just the, the Brussels sprouts in there. Let them cook. Mm. 
In a few minutes, when they turn brown like this, they're almost ready. Doesn't take long. Now we add our onions. They have been previously caramelized. Last, we put the duck. Pan is nice and hot, and we're ready to go. You don't need to put any oil for the duck, because the skin has enough fat to cook. So we're gonna let it be for a minute until it browns. Here's the duck, the skin is pretty crispy. Maybe a little too much. And uh, except here on the leg, which wasn't touching the pan. And here we have our Brussels sprouts. Beautiful. We're gonna serve now. So here we have our finished duck. The skin is pretty crispy. Here's the, the uh, Brussels sprouts. We're gonna put little baby carrots here. Maybe radish. Maybe a radish. Maybe onions. And our sauce with dates, balsamic vinegar, cashew, and bourbon. I'm gonna drizzle on top here. And some here on the side. And there you go. And here it is. Duck confit with Brussels sprouts and Little, what are those, Kristen? Those are little micro vegetables. They're so cute. Delicious. Cheers, Kristen. Cheers to the chef. To you guys. This looks amazing. Duck confit. And there's more to come. We have a lot more preparation coming out of the same duck. Duck goes a long way. <laughs> All right, let's dig in. <laughs> mm. Wow. You good? Do you like it like this better or when it's confit in flat? I like it like this. It came out more Perfect. tender. More tender, right? Mm-hmm. And it still tastes very rich. Very rich, yes. It, I think that um, that confit in the sous vide is the way to go. Mm-hmm. It really comes out super moist and juicy, right? Not dry at all. Mm-mm. Wow. Mm. It's delicious. What do you think about this um, um, sauce? Mm -hmm. It's a great compliment. Focus on it. Mm. I'm gonna eat some of these microgreens. They look so cute. They're adorable. Delicious. Well, Brussels sprouts, the onions also cook perfectly. Mm -hmm. Very good. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, especially if you make this recipe, let us know how it goes. Subscribe and share the video with your friends. Oh, and the recipes are going to be in our website. Yes, we have our website launching this week, which is super exciting, and the recipe will be there. So be sure to check it out. <laughs>